So let's try that really fast. Let's try to find L of 3. That's that special number we have to multiply to get the derivative. It's the limit as delta x goes to 0 of 3 to the delta x minus 1 all over delta x. So let's try that again, a little computer experiment really fast to see what that looks like. Bring back the computer. Oh, it's asleep. You have to wake it up. Come on, wake up. Oh, there we go. Okay. And let's try this one now. So let's try this. So we're going to plug in. Let's start off with 0 0.01. Should be bigger than 0.69 like we saw the last one. And let's see what this is. Oh, look, this is much bigger. 1.401. Let's try even a closer, a smaller delta x. Let's try uh, 0 0.00. 0, 1. 1 1.098 got a little bit smaller. Let's do one last one and see if we can see roughly what the limit is. How about 0. 0.0001? 0. 1.098. So it seems like this is roughly equal to 1.098 stuff which notice is bigger than the 0.69 that we saw earlier. So this ha slope has a slope a little bit bigger than 1. OK, let me move this over to here now and bring back my picture. So what we now see is that the slope of this line is approximately equal to 1.098 stuff. OK, so where are we? Where we are is the following. We've now seen that the derivative is equal to the function itself multiplied by this mysterious number, which in this case would be about 0.693. And if I put a 3 in here, it would be about 1.098. Uh, oh, um, well, if the slope of this line is 0.69 and the slope of this steeper line is uh, 1.09, there must be a line somewhere in between there that has slope exactly equal to 1. Right? This is too small. It's sort of like Goldilocks from the three figures. This is too small. This is too big. But somewhere in between is just right. Just right meaning that the slope of that line would be 1. So there must be some number I could put in here. It would be bigger than 2, but it would be smaller than 3 which has the property that this mysterious function would actually be equal to 1. And let me draw that curve in for you if I can. Gee, I'm sort of running out of colors here, but let's see if I can try to draw it in for you. It's going to be between these two curves. It's going to be between those two curves. It's going to be hard to see this. But there's a special number which has the property that the slope at that point will be exactly 1. And that special number I'm going to call E. And what would E have to equal? Well, E would have to be a number that's bigger than 2 but smaller than 3. And actually, do you think it's going to be closer to 3 or closer to 2? Remember, the deal is that the slope of the line will equal 1. Notice that the slope at 3 is 1.09. It's very, very close to 1. It's just a, a hair over. Whereas this is 0.69. That's very, very far away from 1. So it seems like a good guess is that this special number e will actually be smaller than 3, but pretty close to 3. Closer to 3 than it is to 2. And well, what is that number? Well, that special number e is equal to, let's take a look. Oops. That special number e is equal to 2.718, dip, 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 dip. And that is the e that you have heard about. e equals 2.7182, and so on. Notice it's a little bit smaller than 3, but bigger than 2. So it fits right in between those two numbers. It's right in between those two numbers. And that's the very special number that has the property that that L function there is equal to 1. The slope of the tangent there is 1. So what have we just discovered? We've just discovered the following really neat thing. If I define the function f of x to be equal to the special number e raised to the x power, that e is around 2.718, then the derivative of this function is what? 
is itself. It's e to the x multiplied by that special number, which in this case is 1. So this number e is a very, very special constant. It's the constant so that the derivative of this function turns out to be exactly the same as the function itself. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Absolutely amazing. An example of a function whose derivative is the same as the function. That's the special number e as the base. And it turns out this e is all around us whenever things are growing. And in fact, here's the basic idea of when e turns, into, turns out to be relevant. Think about the following very, very simple idea. Let's look at population, for example. Suppose you've got just a few living things. Could be people, could be bacteria, could be anything. But if you just have a few living things, then how much reproduction would you expect? Well, you'd expect a little reproduction. And so therefore, you would expect that you'd have, in a while, some more of these things. But what if you start off with a lot of things? Well, then you expect to be having reproduction all over the place, right? It's a big old party. Woohoo! And so you expect that you're going to have a, even a greater population explosion. That is to say that the amount of change in the population should be roughly proportional to how much population there is. A lot of population, a lot of reproduction. Little population, little reproduction. Well, it turns out that when you solve those things, as we will, the number e is the number that turns out to be the relevant one. So in terms of looking at how your money grows, how people or other living things grow, it's all this very special number e, which we now see how that e, that 2.71, finally comes out of existence, comes into existence. And the answer is, it's that special number whose derivative of that number to the x turns out to be that number to the x. OK, well, there's the exponential uh, uh, function. And now we see its derivative is just itself. Very, very simple idea. Derivative of e to the x is e to the x. OK, what I want to take a look at now is sort of the untangling of the exponential function, the logarithm function. And this pe gives people a lot of headaches. So what we're going to do up is we're going to first do a little review of the logs, and then we'll take a look at how to figure out what the derivative of the log function is. OK, so stay with us and don't get too nervous. See ya.